stops and random checkpoints mm -hmm. in the town. They're just in the town there um, at, at, twin, at 29 Palms. Mm -hmm. And that was just one of the times that we were doing stuff like that. All right. Uh, for those of you just joining us, I see our viewer listener count continue to just go up. Uh, we are talking on our newsmaker line, Aaron McCullen, and we're talking about uh, uh, the di different operations he's connected to. Uh, Aaron, what was the highest rank in the military that you achieved? Well, my records say uh, Petty Officer Second Class. Mm -hmm. That's uh, E5. In the uh, in, in the Coast Guard, are you still in the um, military? No. Are you are you getting uh, retirement from them or any kind of benefit from them? No, uh, I'm I'm getting a uh, a certain kind of stipend that you know is kind of basically supposed to be um, shut up money or oh. see what they what they do is when when they were put into this kind of status that I'm in, and again um, I'm guessing you have at least two listeners right now who are in the same situation, but I'm not going to mm -hmm. say names. Okay. Um, they try to keep you at the lowest income level. Now, here's why. And I was even told this by a, a three-star general at Camp Pendleton, where I was sitting across from his desk. He told me, and I quote, you will never have a regular job the rest of your life because of what you, you are. You are an investment. Mm -hmm. An asset. An asset, yes. In fact, he even showed me a document that said, Petty Officer, mm -hmm. Second Class, Aaron E. McCollum. Mm -hmm. Uh, serial number 13-01957, mm -hmm. killed in action 1999. Really? Yes. Hmm. Well, um, let me ask you then, uh, you must evidently be well-liked by the military-industrial complex. Wouldn't that be dangerous for our program to even be talking to you? It's dangerous for anyone to be talking with me, Daniel. But, and that's why you know, we're doing it. And, you know, <laughs> and that's it, why we're it doing is. it. And since I've gone public, it has. Mm -hmm. I, I've had threats. I've had mm -hmm. personal friends get attacked. I've had people get their place broken into. Really. Um, it, and even myself, um, just in the past three months, I have probably a total. I have a total of about five days of time that I cannot account for. Mm -hmm. And the last one was two days while I was gone, where mm -hmm. you know I showed up back at my place completely disoriented feeling like I hadn't eaten or drinking anything in weeks and I had all these uh, new markings all over my body and I had felt like I'd been in an electric chair for a week well, m or, or maybe maybe you were uh, and how do we know that uh, you're not like a Manchurian candidate of some sort or uh, you know is there is there do you have any implants yes okay and do do you know for a fact or do you feel like they control you in any way um, or is it a tra is it a track or control or both? It's there. There's definitely still a level of control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm it, not proud to say that, but that is true. It is. Are the are these implants uh, similar to this goofy RFID chip everybody's so scared of, or is it some sort of yeah. alien technology? The RFD the, the RF that chip that's there's a chip similar to that right now that's basically sitting in a, a really in a warehouse. Mm -hmm. Because one of the things that I was shared, one of the things, uh, operations, if you will, that's being geared up for, and again, timelines do change, but the last document I saw was either in the latter part of 2010 or early in 2011, two things are going to happen. One, all state-by-state state state IDs and driver's licenses are going to go away, and there's going to be a one national ID, Okay. Also, everyone will be required to have a passport, and if you do not now, this the document I saw could have changed. But if the the passport, if you do not get the passport, you're looking at you know jail time or how they're going to do it. And the other thing that they're going to be starting to do is, and I was just talking to Dr. Deagle about this, is mm -hmm. through vaccinations and other means of mm -hmm. uh, basically lowjacking everybody in the country. Okay. Well, the, the I'm the, not going to be lowjacked. Okay. So what 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 kind of guns and ammo do I need to not be lowjacked? Because I don't keep go. Stocking. Well, I would say keep keep stocking up and um, be be very very careful about what you allow people to inject into your body. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I take it you're not going to take the H1N1 virus shot. No, and I tell everyone not to do that because mm -hmm. that is just another form of. Control mm -hmm. through different means. It's a control mm -hmm. through, obviously, a lot of people have gotten sick, paralyzed, and even died from it. So that goes in correlation with mm -hmm. the depopulation agenda, but okay. also the fear factor that the news has put in and all of that. Plus, 
it does, it, it also, it's just a dumbifying thing. A lot of these mm -hmm. vaccinations actually cause people to, their, their brain waves and their, even their brain mm -hmm. matter mm -hmm. gets disrupted. All right. Uh, let's uh, go ahead, uh, real quickly. And the reason I mentioned the RFID chip, because it does seem to be, to me, that's it. The, the technology seems to be like a CD, you know, uh, instead of an MP3, you know, instead of a, a flash drive. It's like the, it's kind of old and dated. And But for those that claim they have alien implants, basically they don't have a little silicone thing wrapped with copper wiring that's triggered by a, no. a voltage spike. These things, they can't they can tell what it is, yet the aliens seem to know all about the person based on a, on whatever that material is, and it, they don't, uh, it doesn't look like that. I've uh, got uh, numbers of questions here coming in. Aaron, again, we want to go back to those. And... Uh, and then we'll I'll get back to our, our talk there, and let me go down on the fast blast here. Um, okay. Now, here's one here. Uh, how did you find out that you had the implants? Well, you had a, a couple you had of a itch documents. One, you had an itch one day, wouldn't go away? No, well, a couple of documents that I saw, and then they were basically medical documents. And then the other way that I found out was actually through... Um, when I went to, I was going to physical therapy, and they had this, I don't remember what it's called, but basically a lot of physical therapists are using that, so this isn't some advanced technology, but they basically use like a, um, it's not a UV, but it's like a, um, it's this kind of red light, like an ultrasound type light that they use that's supposed to help stimulate the muscles, and when they brushed it over my left arm, my left arm went pretty much haywire, um, mm. and there were certain parts of my arm that were moving without me doing anything and it really kind of freaked out the uh, physical therapist a bit mm -hmm. and yeah. then the only other ones was through being told by mm -hmm. the military mm -hmm. um, so they can't possibly appreciate you coming out with the information that you're telling no they don't appreciate it at all in fact um, I in the past I don't know well since I've really been kind of um, the past year, a little over a year, because it started happening even when I was still working with them, and that's a whole other story of what I, mm -hmm. the reason why I'm not working with them anymore. Mm -hmm. But um, I've had, I've gone through what, five computers, four cell phones mm -hmm. that just fried. My place had been broken into, my, the place I used to live in, I don't live in now, but the place I used to live in to, had been broken in mm -hmm. four or five times. I had some documents that I actually had spread out. They were able to recover most of it, but unfortunately, the meat and potatoes that I still have, um, which I haven't released yet to the public, but it is, I still have them. I'm very unhappy with them. Basically, this document is a worldwide security plan of the United States that was presented wow. by a rear admiral to the Pentagon, and it goes all the way up to the agenda, all mm -hmm. the way up to 2015. And do you have these documents in your possession? I have the first 21 pages because the rest were taken from me, but yes, mm -hmm. I have them. Okay, go ahead and send, send those on over. We want to take a look. Um, I, I, I'll do that. Okay, hey. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'll right. do that. I, I can't say that. I can't you believe know, you said that. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. You for a I mean, yeah. while, but you yeah. know, if you I mean, want, yeah. I'll, I'll send them yeah. to you. No, please. I already sent yeah. them to a few other uh, people, plus I have copies spread all over the place. Now, there you go, and that's the best way to keep it safe. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, and uh, by the way, when we're talking about the... Uh, uh, the uh, um, Stargate. Now, now this this uh, this sort of gate mechanism allows you to travel through time or uh, to other places, particularly planets, right? Well, the, the Stargate, yes. But again, I wasn't part of Project Stargate. Okay. I can only speak for Project okay. Seagate. Okay. But uh, but, um, but, as, but I am in contact with two people, mm -hmm. and I cannot, I will not reveal the names because I did not ask them prior to this interview. But I know two people who were part of Project Stargate who okay. have relayed some very interesting information to me in the past okay. uh, two months. Well, then you may not be able to help me with this question then, because I was going to ask: Is there any is in any any of your contacts ever said that something from over there? came over here yes are they so there's whatever they or it was is still here i don't know but um you know there are roughly the newest information i originally said in my project camelot interview that i knew of 12 stargates i have recently found out that there are over 50 stargates on this planet hmm. so okay. all right some of, but some of them are active some of them are more of a dormant stage. Some of them are intermittent. It just depends. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah. Okay. Um, 
do you have any information